Hi, I'm Melissa Furlack, and on behalf of the composer and I, we'd like to thank you for joining us on this next phase of the development of our brand new opera, The Dukes. The opera takes a modern look at a historical event that happened in the 1600s called the Aix-en-Provence Possessions. In this story, this true story, two nuns accuse a priest of demonically possessing them, and it results in this priest being burned alive. Um, what we know about psychology today really lends itself well to explaining demonic possession and so we seek to do that throughout the opera through the use of a narrator uh, from today's time sort of overlaid on top of the events that are happening uh, in the historical uh, story. Um, it's full of lies and intrigue and uh, religion, both the good and the bad and the ugly, and, uh, and it's just really ripe with, with dramatic, uh, dramatic juice. The composer, Jan Furlach, has actually already finished writing all of the music, um, and I uh, have written the libretto, the story, the lyrics, and between us we've conducted a lot of historical research, including this winter going to France and visiting the original sites, which is really fascinating. Um, so that has all taken place over this last year. We are now into the next phase where we have begun recording some of our wonderful singers who um, so far have donated their time, but we feel it's really important and we know you think it's really important too to support artists. And so we want to ensure that we can give these artists stipends as well as take care of some travel and some recording costs that are associated with utilizing them in this full recording because that's what we really want at this first stage is a full recording of the opera that we plan to release as a two to set um, because it is two and a half hours long. We feel that we need to tell you a little bit about these singers because we chose them um, because we know that they're passionate about art. We know that they could deliver on these characters in a way like no other opera singer has ever done before. And so they do come from all over the, all over the planet, which is great. Uh, first of all, our narrator is Timur Bekbosanov. And I actually went to school at New England Conservatory with Tamor. We both um, went there for a master's degree in opera and vocal performance. Tamor is now traveling basically around the country with his group, Tamor and the Time Museum. And um, they were on America's Got Talent. And um, they're really quirky, out of the box, amazing artists and um, and he has been this amazing artist who can transform his voice into a variety of characters and, um, and it's just it, it's really an amazing feat to watch this guy sing and um, so he definitely had to be our narrator. Um, next we have Cassandra Novell and I've known Cassandra for um, a number of years through our work together in the symphonic metal world. Um, she has an amazingly dynamic voice. She has one of these voices that can do anything from rock to jazz to classical to musical theater to anything you name it. It's, it's really an amazing instrument that she possesses and she also has this brain that can just get into the place that we needed for Louise, um, one of the possessed nuns, to get into. And um, so, she, yeah, there was just no question that she had to be the one to play Louise. Our next singer is Christophe Franco Giavio, and he is a wonderful singer from France, uh, and he plays our lead role of Louis Gofridi, the main priest who is executed. Uh, he has performed at the Marseille Opera, um, and he actually has worked with a lot of um, a lot of popular music groups, and just recently wrote a book on Arbol Paris. So he's kind of a big classical nerd. That's why we love him. Uh, after him, we have Justin Spenner. Justin is somebody from Minnesota, here where we are located, and um, he has done some work with the Minnesota Opera and is also a vocal teacher locally, and he is playing our main inquisitor, Michaelis. And finally, we have Drake Christensen, who plays um, a few of the priests throughout, um, including Domtius, Romillion, and um, our final victim priest in the very final scene. And I have known Drake for um, about two years, and he is a great singer in the uh, symphonic metal world. 
Um, he uh, just recently got back from Germany and moved back to his home of Brazil. Um, this guy has a wonderful voice, kind of a baritone tenor mix, and we're thrilled to welcome him on board too. So as you can see, um, we have a wonderful mix of singers that have a variety of credits to their name and certainly a lot of accolades in their, in their own careers. And so we're so, so thrilled that they have generously given a lot of their time to this project thus far. Uh, we invite you to take a listen to our SoundCloud where we have currently three full scenes recorded and published for listening. And as a very special kickoff for this campaign, we have um, put together a medley of some of the other music that sort of gives you an overall perspective of the opera. And so we invite you to take a listen to that also on our SoundCloud available today. Um, you can also read um, in our campaign page about all the many ways that you can be involved. We have a lot of different levels for gifts, as well as um, different levels of involvement. And, um, you know, I think our biggest thing that we just want you to do is spread the word because we, we need a lot of help. We have a very high goal. This is a very high art, big production. It's a lot of music and it's a lot of, it's a lot of people. And uh, um, so we need to get this all done in two months because that's all Indiegogo will allow us to have. So please spread the word um, and help us reach our goal of 10,000. Thanks so much.